Rated M for Mature. Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Shin Megami Tensei 4. In the previous video we found our way to Ikibukuro. Where Hikaru said a bunch of books will be at. Also, we kind of defeated a jury and also stopped this giant firewall and whatnot. So we say we start exploring this area. Ugh! Such an awesome jump, anyway. <laughs> yes, this is actually a very poisonous area. If you don't have a bunch of disc poisons, I could highly recommend that you get some. Also, um, I spent some of my have points off screen. I now have walk mana too. So basically, when I walk around a little bit, I recover mana very slowly. So that's actually pretty sweet. But now what we need to do is we need to locate hmm, a terminal for this area. Now we honestly have no sticking idea where it's at. But if all of you at home believe in me, I'm sure that we can find our next destination. And actually it's right over here. So thanks everyone for uh, clapping your hands or whatever at home. Because it made me found the underground district for Ikibukuro. Now however, this place is a little bit on the tricky side. It's not very safe. There are basically demons of all kinds of strength and attributes running around. And also there's an extremely powerful swarm running around here. It's extremely hard to deal with. And oh my goodness. There you go. <laughs> this is actually just a pretty easy demon thing. I'm just going to auto them all down. Wow. <laughs> the auto pinpoint thing is just so strong. Goodness. And hey, Jack Frost got to level up. Yeah, even though we're just going to not kind of basically delete him from existence which is kind of sad I guess and, and seriously I can't emphasize enough you really need some disc poisons when coming to this area because the Zhen here actually have a very devastating move poison breath which as it sounds just basically gives that poison to everybody in your party which really stinking sucks now be careful here guys be extremely careful here because there's a pitfall trap somewhere and hey the terminal that we were looking for now if you don't have fire Actually, not fire. If you don't have Bufu and Zeo skills, this next terminal may be sort of difficult. But I do, so I think I'll be alright. Yeah, let's go in and get ourselves another terminal. <laughs> Holy son of a... Sheesh! Hey, you came out of nowhere. <laughs> Good thing I set up a domain to deal with a crap like this. <coughs> they call me the... the oh... Well, but hold the phone. You know that kid who attacked me earlier? You ain't bad for a tyke. Does this mean you want to fight me again? Maybe you think you can outwit me, but I won't make it easy on you. I hang low down dirty tricksters like you in front of the station. Maybe I've been keeping it too simple so far. I better try throwing you a curveball. How about these guys? They're kind of technical types, I think. Yeah. They're gonna chew you up and spin you right out. Wait a second, so this guy inside all the terminals has just been the same guy every time? What the crap? Apparently, anywho, these Incubus are actually weak to Zainaga, so we're gonna do that. Get a bunch of press turns. Now the starfish in the middle, it's kind of weird to say it's a starfish, but it actually is. It's actually weak to Bufu, so make sure you have those two skills and you should be alright. And you know what, let's just increase our attack a whole lot since that's all these guys can really do. Alright, so let's see. Let's use another Zyanga. Take down that guy, even though I probably could have killed the um, one in the center with that. Let's use another one on there. And alright. Now you can pretty much blow everything on this fight because, well, this is the terminal. You just go back to Makado once we get this place, so that's pretty useful. Let's actually set up a um, Tsuka just so we can dodge stuff. And yeah, I'm kind of treating this like an actual boss fight, but it's far from that. It's actually pretty stinking easy, I just don't want to take any chances, and ooh, 100 damage. That's pretty scary. But it's alright, because, well, I think this next Bufu is actually going to kill the leader. Yeah, 500 damage. I think we can just auto down this other Incubus. <laughs> yeah. It ain't going to go like this next time. You better remember that. I, I don't I don't know man uh, every time I fought you I've kind of come out with a victory just saying <laughs> and yes Senri here is gonna level up and actually not get any new skills and the Wendingo I got off screen is gonna get a new skill oh poison breath gee willikers that's so helpful man I don't want any of these crappy skills no thank you and yes for like the fourth time I believe now we're gonna get the whole terminal nonsense and I'm gonna have to I actually go back to Mikado and heal up and blah blah blah. Now something actually important I'm gonna tell you you need to do right now. I don't recommend if you have a Senri bringing it into the next fight. I'm actually gonna grind up 
to where I can fuse my next demon that I'm looking to get um, for this next boss battle. It's going to be level 30, so this may take like a couple minutes. So I'm going to go to Mikado and uh, meet you back here in Ikibukuru. And alright guys, after a little bit of questing, we're back and we're now level 30. And off screen, Principality actually evolved into power. Now if you're not getting the reference between these demons' names, it's basically the Christian belief that angels kind of have like a tier system. They start out as regular angels, become archangels, then transcend into Principality and then power. So that's kind of cool that it's actually an evolutionary chain for angels and ooh, we're coming back to Mido and he's gonna say that Frost Ace is now able to be fused. That's pretty cool and all, but I'm actually here for Thoth. Because this guy is pretty stinking rad. Not only does he have the first instance of Megiddo, which is on an almighty spell, but he's also going to learn Sakuja, Taranda, and basically some buffs. Now you're probably wondering, don't we have Senri who already does this job? Yes, however, Senri is weak to electricity, which is what we're going to be running into next. So we got to get this guy and his monkey behind is reading a book. He's also pretty cool because he's a pretty popular... um. Egyptian god, and not only pop culture, but other stuff like that, and all right. So, power is actually higher level than our protagonist. That's actually pretty funny. Anywho, um, coming in this next area, I highly encourage you to bring some detox solutions, maybe from Mikado, or you can get it anywhere, really. And wow, that was the luckiest dodge in the world. Anywho, that was actually pretty unintentional. <laughs> it's time that we actually head back to the area in which we started this adventure. We gotta get to that lady before she challenges that demon, you know. Goodness, I don't think she can handle it. It seems like she needs the uh, help of some samurai, so let's actually head up there. This is back in... What is this place called again? Oh yeah, Sunshine Front. Now let's actually go and find that demon. It's actually right over here, and come on! I stepped on it for one second! I got poisoned, goodness. But detox solutions are actually pretty cheap. It's just the pain of actually going back and doing that all over again. Anywho, hmm. Speak of... No, we can't actually do that. I need another Jack Frost to fuse something up. Because basically, I really don't want to fuse power into anything. I want to keep him evolving at all times. Now, if we actually look at his moves, he has dramatically increased physical attack. But he somehow lost mana. That's because I'm starting to figure something out here. You can't be both good at physical and magic. If you're good at physical, you won't have a lot of mana, and chances are your magic won't be very high. If you're good at physical, well, it's the other, it's vice versa, basically. However, power's kind of the mix in between. He has Diorama, which actually heals someone for medium HP, which uh, at this point in the game is 300, so yeah, he kind of unintentionally became our cleric. He also has the medium gunshot, which is very, very good. It does pretty decent physical damage. And guys, if we go through here, this is actually the Demon's Domain, and that the Ring of Gaia is apparently trying to challenge. Um, hmm. I don't care how strong you think you are, uh, the samurai are stronger, so I guess we're gonna have to bail these jerk cells. Let's actually come up to this door and see what's going on in here. Ah, uh, voice from the other side. Ooh, someone there! Oh, I see! One of us! Looks like the hunters have become hunted! Oh my. It's a man-eating demon. Goodness. Uh, Shiwan Mu is apparently eating other people. That's just darn scary. Well, we definitely have to put a stop to that. Am I right, guys? Yeah, we have to definitely kill her. For you who do not know, Shiwan Mu is actually a Chinese god. Kind of their god of creation in a way. Alright, let's try to run around this guy real quickly. And see if we can't find this demon. Now, this path is actually kind of all over the place. But I'm basically going the fastest route. And here we are. You're here? Well, good timing. Here, I'll let you take care of one of them. Oh, thanks for the help. Woohoo. Now, basically, this demon, do not take it lightly. This guy will mess you up if you're unprepared. Basically, nothing is super effective against him, so we're going to have to just try our best. I really don't want to waste any of Power's mana, but it seems like we're going to have to. That's something you definitely want to do here. You absolutely want to increase your evasion. This guy has a move called Megaton Press. It's basically the upgraded version of Critical Wave. So we're going to increase our evasion and try and survive this thing. Oh, goodness. This guy does not mess around. I know it looks really dorky, like it's just a yak. Big deal, it's flying on a cloud. No, this guy can pretty much destroy your entire team if you're not prepared. 
So let's actually go with our strongest spell, which is right now a Gi. All right. 230 damage, not too terrible. Let's go with a shot. Mmm, the 145. That's really good damage, man. We're going to save Take Min Minakatata. I don't exactly how you say it. I still haven't done my research, I can probably tell. We're going to save his mana actually for the next battle, because it's very important that we do that. Ooh. No, he's not doing it. He's actually not doing the move. That's extremely, extremely lucky. This move is, like, insane if you get, if you get hit by it. And hey, we took him down without too much of a problem. Awesome. I really lucked out there. Goodness. Did you get yours, too? You bested that demon on your own. There are lots of folks in the Ring of Gaia as strong as me. By the way, what were your names? Alright, I'll remember that. Well, I hope we meet again somewhere other than the afterlife. Wow, Kaga didn't even need a demon to beat that other demon. That's stinking crazy. Anywho, like I said, we're going to have to take Senri out of our stock for the time being, replace her with Thoth, just for this one battle in particular. Now, be warned, this next challenge is extremely difficult, so save your game. Do it. Do it right now. Save your game. Okay. And okay, we're all set and ready to fight the boss. So what do you say we take on this Shimwa Mu? I'm detecting a strong demon ahead. Do you want to... What is it? I only finished my dinner a moment ago. But then, I find the people of this city to be very bland and unfilling. Is it perhaps their weak will? I hope that when I devour you, that you will be more pleasing to the palate. It is senseless for you to struggle, dear humans. You will find yourselves incapable of inflicting the slightest pain. And yes, she won Moo. I don't really understand what she's talking about by saying slightest pain. We're going to take this time to buff up. We're also going to debuff the enemy. That's going to decrease her attack. Now we've really got to get our evasion up. But Power here doesn't have any Sakuja, so he's just going to do Turakaja. And all right. Now Warcry or Rakunda? Now let's use Rakunda. Warcry, however, is a really great move and all. It just costs way too much SP. All right, let's get Thoth to do Sakuja, because that's extremely important. All right, let's see what she's going to do. What? Jonathan only did one damage? Come on, Jonathan. Oh, crap. <laughs> she creased all of her stats. That's not looking good. Well, she missed, actually. Hmm. Let's actually take this time to use our damage of our... I'll show you how to really use up a Bafuli, you stinking newt. Mine only did one HP, too. What kind of demon are we dealing with? For you who don't know, this is actually the Chinese god of creation, basically. She's not... Okay... In the walk, walk in the cake. Well, I mean, what? Let's use another Sakuja here. And all right. Seems like we just can't even dent her. Goodness, no, no, she got a smirk. That is not looking good. Ooh, Zeodyne, that is extremely unfortunate. And oh my gosh, I am almost dead. That is terrible. Let's actually just try and decrease her attack some more. The good thing, Power actually has the best healing move so far, which will heal her entire HP bar. Yeah, pretty good. Pretty good for him to have that. Let's actually check. She is only one in defense still, so let's use another Rakunda. And I guess, I mean, let's try an almighty attack. Maybe that'll stick and dent her goodness. What devilry is this? We may as well be wielding fly swatters as swords. I suspect she may be warded by a spell like that place upon Ikebukuro itself. As I have told you, it is senseless to struggle. Surrender now, and allow me to... This is it! Shiwon move! Your head is ours! Which simple-minded common soldiers? I shall devour you all. Are there any more among you who wish to be devoured? Don't push your luck, Shi Wang Mu! Kaga. We won't yield to demons. 
We'll keep struggling as hard as we can until we burn ourselves out. That's all you can expect from the believers of the Ring of Gaia! Oh, what a feisty one! Freshness is everything when it comes to cuisine. What say you to this? It's inevitable that the weak will die. If I'm weak, then I accept my fate of being eaten. Boy, do you want to live? Then keep struggling. Give yourself over to your instincts, body, and soul. And struggle with all your damned might. I'll do the same. Even if it lands me in the pits of hell. Oh, but I grow weary of this prattle. I shall devour you, I struggle and all. <sighs> surging from within. See how the innards of my stomach heat up. <laughs> it, it's hot. It's very hot indeed. Those humans. They're churning in my stomach. Unbelievable. Even after being devoured, they continue to struggle. Damn if I've ever seen their like anywhere else. Oh, this is too much. Hoi, isn't this our chance? I'd wager Shi Guang Mu would feel it now if we redoubled our offense. And Kage, your sacrifice will not be in vain. Now we can actually damage the boss. She's weak extremely to Zahn, so I highly recommend you do that, and alright, let's see who is really damaged. And eh, we're alright. Let's go for another Turakaja, and we're pretty much really low on SP at the moment. That's really okay, let's increase... Um, what, how low is she? Okay, so she's negative two defense, negative one attack. Let's make that so she can never even hit us with anything. If she actually uses a Zeo skill on Take Menatake, she'll actually lose a turn, so that's pretty... He's a pretty good demon, and especially in this battle, since she likes to do that. And wow, 750 damage. <laughs> it's pretty ridiculous. Let's get power to just... Uh, actually, he's out of MP, so he'll just auto-attack. That would be a good idea. Ooh, 54. Not too bad. Considering it's just a wimpy auto-attack and all. Mm-hmm. And wow, even Jonathan... Whoa, 144. That's a ton of damage. Come on, Zeodyne. Ooh! Fortunately, I hit power, but I also hit Take Minatake. So I healed him up, so that's pretty awesome. This next Zanma is really going to hurt since she has really low defense, and wow, 761. That's like the most damage we've ever seen, goodness. And Take here should be able to get a crit, yep. This is going to equate to more turns for us, and all right, let's go for Buffula. Mm-hmm, wow, everyone on our team is doing so much damage. Imagine if everyone had Zan too. See, I'm trying to just show you in this boss battle, you really don't have to have every boss's weakness. As long as you have, like, one guy that has decent magic... You should be okay. And yeah, we're just chipping her down. There's really not a lot she can do. And oh no, the Queen's Feast! Luckily we dodged it. That only heals her for a little bit. It actually hits everybody, so it's kind of a double-edged sword. And if this doesn't do it, I don't know what is. Oh well. She actually has a lot of health, it seems. That's okay. Let's actually just skip turns to Thoth, because he's the only guy with mana left. And we're actually getting really lucky. And wow, we actually beat her! How about that? Humans I already devoured prove to be my ruin! How dreadful is the struggle of life!
Congratulations on completing the quest. We'd have perished if not for the Ring of Gaia and that Kaga woman. Did you hear her words regarding... struggling, was it? The humans of Tokyo aren't altogether without merit. Humans? You have the right of it. They are humans, just as we are. Wow, so it turns out the unclean ones are actually the same race as us. Well, we sure did learn a lot this episode. It turns out the Ring of Gaia are stronger than we thought. And guys, in the next episode of Let's Play Shin Megami Tensei 4, we're going to explore more of Ikibuku now that Shima Wu's seal has been broken. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next episode. Take care.